Hello everyone, I'm Anessa Goodwin of Key Performance Ideas and I'd like to welcome you to our webinar, Smart View, New Features and Advanced Techniques, presented today by Susie Young. Susie, an Oracle Hyperion Planning Architect Certified Consultant, has over 15 years of experience in accounting and finance and has participated in over 40 successful Hyperion implementations including Oracle's recent cloud solution, Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. She specializes in design and architecture of Hyperion planning systems and has hands-on developer experience with SBASE. SmartView, Workforce Planning, and CapEx. In addition to development and leading custom end-user training, Susie is a recognized thought leader and has presented at several Oracle user group conferences and virtual events. Thank you today. Thank you, Susie, for joining us today. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I think you'll find some good information in this presentation, maybe even learn something new. As an and this one mentioned, today I'm going to talk about some of the latest features in recent releases of SmartView. First, I'll give you an overview of SmartView. Next, I'll go through some of my favorite new features and functionality. And lastly, I'll show you, show you a couple of advanced SmartView techniques to take your SmartView usage to a new level. So what is SmartView? As the documentation says, it is an add-in from Microsoft Office Suite. So SmartView provides users with access to real-time data from Oracle Hyperion applications, such as S-Space, planning, HFM, and reporting and analysis. It allows users to adjust, load, analyze, and share data with others. SmartView also gives you ad hoc analysis capability. So users can create free-form templates for analyzing data. There are easy drag-and-drop layout capabilities, and it allows you to save your analysis and share it with others. It can be used with planning, S-Space, and HSM. In addition to the ad hoc free-form capability, there's also predefined analysis. So you can work with your existing planning, S-Space, HFM and reporting objects, which include things like data forms, grids, business rules, calculation scripts, and reports. Lastly, SmartView can provide some great integrated reporting. You can embed existing financial reporting and analysis reports into PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and Outlook. And then once they're embedded, you can refresh those with current data as needed. So let's take a look at some of the new features and functionality in the latest releases. First of all, um, we'll take a look at compatibility. So in the latest releases of SmartView, Microsoft Surface Pro is now supported. And then Microsoft Windows version 8 and Office 2013 are also now supported. The next feature we're going to look at is submitting data without a refresh. Um, this is one of my personal favorites. So if you've worked with SmartView before, you've probably opened up an existing SmartView file, maybe updated some numbers, and then when you go to submit, it used to force you to refresh the worksheet and you would lose all of your changes. Now you can submit without refresh. So Within your spreadsheet, once you open it up, you can type in your numbers, and just instead of having to refresh, you just click your submit data, and it's saved to the database. The next thing we'll take a look at is submitting data ranges. So wouldn't it be great to be able to pick certain data cells or ranges to submit? With the submit data range function, you can choose which cells you want to submit. In the example below, we've got values of five in every month, January through December. Well, let's say I'm only sure about the first half of the year, so January through June, 
and August, and I want to submit those. All I have to do is simply select those cells, and that's just like Excel, just holding down your control key and clicking on the cells you want to submit. And then next to the submit data icon, there is a little drop down that now allows you to do the submit data range. And you'll see this is also where your submit data without refresh exists as well. The next new feature we'll talk about is pivoting when you have multiple members from a dimension in your grid. A lot of times you'll be in the middle of analysis and you'll need to move things around a bit. If you, you try to flip dimensions around, but you can't because you've maybe got more than one member and it won't let you pivot that dimension back up to the point of view because there's more than one member. Now, the functionality allows you to pivot dimensions even when there's multiple members. So in the example on the right, you'll see we have two columns, one for January, one for February. When I select pivot to POV, it will now move those the period dimension up into the point of view row. And it puts the two members that I had in the grid now into a drop down, so I can tell the between January and February. Along those same, same lines, now only one dimension is required in the POV row. So previously you had to have at least two dimensions in the POV row of a smart view. Now only one is required. This gives you greater flexibility and more ways to drill into your data. It allows you to put more dimensions into the actual grid so you have more flexibility and ways to drill when you're querying the data. Next is planning data meta, planning metadata maintenance. So if you want a fast and easy way to update your planning metadata, you can use the planning administrator extension and use the SmartView add-in to update aliases, to add new members, or to change other member properties in user-friendly Excel. This is a great tool for mass updates. So if you need to um, change all of your account aliases, this is a very quick and easy way to make those changes. And a lot of users prefer this method because it is in Excel and it's familiar and you can copy and paste. The next new feature we'll talk about is now aliases are displayed in member selection boxes. So have you ever tried to select a member and then you're wondering what account, you know, A60376 really is? Or instead of just the abbreviated month, Jan, you'd like to see the actual name. Now you can display not only the member name, but the text alias as well. And to do that, once you're in your member selection, you use the um, relationship dropdown. And at the bottom, you'll see there's now an option for alias table. And within here, you can toggle between no aliases, which would show your member names, or any alias tables that you have associated with the database. So you'll see in this, instead of showing the abbreviated months, now we've got our full long name. Next, we'll talk about changing connections via the documents team. So wouldn't it be great to see what database each sheet in your workbook is connected to? and then easily switch between those connections on one sheet. You can use the document pane to quickly toggle between your database connections. And to get to the document content, it's simply this little drop down arrow next to the home icon, and you would select document pane or document content, and now you can see each sheet in your workbook in which database it's connected to. The next new um, functionality is pretty cool. This is saving changes to the Smart View options. Um, so do you prefer displaying decimals or whole dollars? Suppressing rows with no zero or showing, or with no data or showing your zeros? Um, changes made to the Smart View options can be applied not only to the current sheet that you're working on, 
but it can be applied to all sheets in the workbook or even saved as your default and then used in all of the future workbooks you create. And again, once you're in here, you can make your member option formatting, your data options, um, and then there's a little drop down next to the OK, and you can choose to save those as default, as well as you can choose to save those to apply to all sheets in that current workbook. Now you don't have to constantly, every time you create a new workbook, go and make your preferences. Now I'd like to talk about some of the advanced techniques. Have you ever had the perfect P&L report in SmartView and then needed to go and recreate it 10 times for all of your different products? The SmartView Cascade functionality lets you dynamically and automatically produce multiple, re multiple reports based on the original layout. <clears throat> so once you have a layout that you like, for example, this um, SmartView query on the left-hand side, you can choose to cascade from your SmartView ribbon. And within here, you can choose to cascade within the same workbook you can create new, a new workbook with multiple tabs, or you can create a different workbook for each dimension you'd like or each member you want to cascade on. So I want to take this current report, and instead of just looking at total colas, I want to run this report for each type of cola I have. So I would go ahead and I would select the children of colas. I would click, um, I would go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see I chose to um, create this in the same workbook. I have a tab for each of these different products. Now you can do this with products. You could do it for time periods. You could do it on entities. Um, lots of functionality there. And this is a big one with users. Um, they don't have to go and create you know, multiple versions and spend time creating iterations for um, all their users. The next thing we'll take a look at is Smart Slides. This is not a very commonly used, but it's a great piece of functionality. So if you have several dimensions or hundreds of thousands of members and a ton of data, or do you have data or do you have users that you need to restrict their access, you can create a slice of the database to limit what users work with in regards to members. So the Smart Slice can be named and saved in the Smart View panel as well. And then all users can access it. This functionality is very helpful when needing to guide users who may not be very familiar with where their data is stored. You can give them their little slice of the database, and then they can use that to query. In addition to Smart Slice is the Smart Query. So wouldn't you love to run a report that just shows the top products based on sales for quarter one, or maybe analyze the average cost for all of your products? Using SmartView Query, you can do this quickly and easily. And just like Smart Slice, Smart Queries can be saved in the SmartView panel and used by users. Some examples um, of the options for your Smart Query would be um, top, so you could get top performing stores. Bottom, you can get the bottom 10 products. You can do counts, you can do percents, sums, lots of different functionality there. Um, lastly, I'd like to talk about reports and embedding reports within um, using SmartView. So if you've ever spent hours updating your monthly reporting packages and your CFO decks, your flash reports, and then, just, um, and then just to have the data change as soon as you send them out, Oracle SmartView can alleviate all of that manual work. You can embed your FR reports into PowerPoint decks, Word, Excel, and Outlook. So you embed them once, and then you just refresh using your SmartView menu in those tools, and the data will be refreshed with the latest and greatest from the database. Well, that wraps up our presentation for today. Thanks again for joining us.
And if you need any more information, please reach out to either Greg Olma or me at the emails below. Thank you.